Well, hello, gang. Part four. I got the shells all painted. And they look great. You can see the imperfections in the wood. You can see the joint. You can see everything. Here's the little badge holes. But I don't care. Kind of going for a rough appearance and these shells are perfect they're smooth the paint is very clean it's a very clean paint job it turned out really really well um, I did four coats sanding in between each coat like I talked about in part three the first coat didn't really do much the second coat kind of added now, now the color was starting to appear the third coat covered it really well so when this fourth coat went on it just sealed the deal this floor tom turned out really well. There's no runs. Just a really clean paint job. Here's the joint there. And the bass drum, same thing. Um, now this is a semi-gloss dark walnut I was going to go with a flat black but they didn't have any at the Lowe's when I went they didn't have any flat black spray paint they did have a semi-gloss black which was pretty good I was going to go with that semi-gloss black but then I seen this color, walnut, and it had just a little bit, it was just one notch brighter in color. Flat black and the semi-gloss black, they almost looked the same. So, um, yeah, gang, this is really a fun project. Uh, very easy to do if you're thinking about ripping your old wrap off because it looks like hell and painting your shells I would say go for it there is a little bit of a technique when it comes to painting with the spray can you know you don't want to just slap it on any old which way but it's not hard to do just make sure that you can do it in a clean environment I'm in a uh, shop, you know. You don't want to do this outside. You don't want to do this outside where the dust is going to accumulate anywhere. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. This project here went well. So, we're going to go ahead and... Take your tape off. And, um, yeah, I would encourage anybody who's thinking about doing this. Now, I'll say again, do not do this to a nice drum kit, you know. I mean, if you have a drum that you found on eBay for 20 bucks and the wrap just absolutely looks like shit and um, you think that it would be cool to pull it off and paint it you can paint it you know there's a lot of different paint going with black is always a good choice going with um, any dark color they did have a very very dark navy blue which 
also would have looked great. And um, I think they had a really dark gray that would have looked good too. But I just chose to go with the black. And then after looking at it, I'm like, eh, you know what? This dark walnut actually looks pretty cool. So I just went with that. It's going to look good because the hardware is chrome. Now, if my hardware was black, I think I would probably either with the dark gray or I would have went with the red. That would look good if you have black hardware. Yeah, so I'm gonna take all this tape off. I'm gonna bring these shells home and I'm gonna put all the hardware back on it and that'll be part five. I'm actually gonna give these a couple more days to dry before I put the hardware on. I don't actually have to put the hardware on yet. Today's Saturday. I got a few days to put the hardware on. Um, I have a gig next weekend. So, in ex actually exactly a week from now. So, yeah, I got three days or four days to... Just let these things sit and dry some more. Which will be a good thing because these are actually going to go in the Jeep with us when we go play. And um, I kind of want to let the uh, let these let the paint gas out so that so I'm not stinking the car up with um, fresh paint. So, all right, gang, I'm pretty happy about this. This is a cool, fun little project. Took four coats of primer and four coats of paint. So if you're ever gonna do this, you wanna give yourself, you know, a couple of weeks. This isn't gonna be something that you do overnight. Part five, coming up.